What's going on, everyone? Juicebacks here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and some more Chaos 7 Trials. OG goodness. I'm uh, going to stick with the same flavor as we've been doing on the other maps. And we've got some Squire Blockades, the Poison Dart Tower Huntress, the Oh My God Flame Aras, and then some Huntress Deeps with the 4 per second scatter shot bow. Now, uh, on these Flame Aras, I am using a mark. I'm using this mark because it is my best piece, not because it's the piece I think I should be using. Uh, ideally, I would much rather have a medallion in this position. However, a uh, max legendary mark versus a max mythical medallion, uh, the mark ends up winning out because the two are so close to each other. So I am just kind of going with that. Let's go ahead and get things started off. Now, I am going to back it up a little bit more than I normally would. And then we'll get a PDT, say, right about there. Now, we could still have some potential dive bombing into that lane. Now, here on this lane, we do have flyers. So, I want to make sure I've got some flyer defense in. I'm going to put two flame R's here to uh, compensate for all those guys. And then we'll go with a wall right about there for some spawn camping. Now, here I'm going to have to test this poison dart tower. I think it's going to hit the mobs up there. I am not positive, though. Um, as it may just fire into that wall. Let's check the range first. It looks like the range is actually not bad. So we should get some shots off on the bads. Hopefully so. And then we're going to throw another PDT it angled like this. Now this PDT is going to do double duty. It's going to assist up top with the flyers. It's going to assist this flame aura right here. However, it is also going to give the assist down below. And uh, let me actually back it up a little further than normal again. And just want to make sure it is in front of where that PDT is. And I don't think, uh, I don't think anything's going to march by. I guess we will find out here. And then last but not least, let's head over and get the basics squared away with this lane. We are going to go... Hmm, let's go right there. And I want to put the Flame Aura over here now, or pardon me, the PDT. Now, one of the reasons I'm putting the PDT here is I want the, I'm hoping that the PDT collects any Cobalt aggro. I would much rather lose this PDT than lose this objective. Not sure exactly how well that's going to work out quite yet. And then, let's Flame Aura it up. Let's see, we actually got, what, 570 DU left which is quite a bit, so I may be able to add even a little something-something extra in the mix. Let's see... Where can we go with this one? Right about there, sounds good. Hmm... I'd hate to only go two on this lane, but I have to make sure I'm getting proper coverage. Let's go three flame Rs in that lane. And then head on over to these guys. Let's see, let's try to maximize the amount of flames we can get in here. Uh, three flames, that's going to be pretty decent. And it does appear I'm going to have a little bit of DU left. Now this lane I'm going to leave relatively unattended. So I am going to go with four flame R's on this one. Like so. And then that's going to leave me 240 left. And you know what? What the heck, let's bust out the, the Traptress. Now, uh, using a Medallion, Deadly Strikes, Power Transfer, and Defense Rate, that's kind of the standard issue. Uh, you can put a Medallion with these stats and these shards on any defense and get good results out of it. So, let's see, let's go with, uh, we'll go with two traps right there. I actually don't think anything's going to make it that far, but just in case. The main lane I am concerned about is down below, that uh, kind of center lane down at the bottom could end up getting getting pounded on quite a bit. So let's get uh, let's get this lane all juiced up. We'll go with three explosives right on the wall. That should help handle uh, anything that comes through. You know what? I'm gonna put two right right at the bottom here, as close as I can get it to. 
just for any of those guys that like to hang back and take shots. And then that leaves me 40 left for two more. So, might as well do the same thing here. I'm kind of concerned um, about that objective getting hit. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of explosive traps right up front. And this is actually the lane that I'm going to work. So, I don't have to... I shouldn't have to worry about anything on the walls, as I'll nuke anything down that does build up there. Let's, uh, let's check... Uh, that Cobalt... Well, an uh, upgrade or two will help that. I was going to say, that Cobalt didn't die very quick. Let's take a peek at this next one. Yeah, they're, uh... I think it will require an upgrade uh, for the two R's up front to be able to burn it down. This one's actually got pretty good coverage right at the gate with three R's. But uh, nothing a couple of upgrades can't solve. And we've got a Cobalt out here as well. He's wrecked. Now is that, yeah, that PDT is getting down and dirty on that lane, so that's good. Derp, derp, derp. I completely meant to fall off that ledge, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, let's deal with this lane, as this lane is my biggest concern with that objective. Now, it's not that big of a deal. You know, worst thing that can happen is you lose the objective and you have to rebuild and put something down there. And then I want to focus on these flyers as well. Let's go like that. And that should get us there. Throw a couple of upgrades on my way around. Now I'm going to leave that left lane unattended for a moment up top there and see uh, see what happens. Hopefully I don't end up losing that objective out of the deal. But I do want to get some upgrades on these R's on this side. Let's see, one more. Eh, two more actually. Throw another upgrade right there and then head back over to our normal spot where I'm going to be uh, doing all the DPS. The only thing you really have to worry about here is those Cobalts. I mean, they will dive bomb that Westgate lock. So you have to be careful. And I've got a roller coming in, so let's go ahead and throw an upgrade on that wall. Give us a little bit more survivability while we uh, burn that roller down. And then, of course, same as uh, last run, it's almost easier if you die to the roller once. And then you can come back come back out and DPS it without worrying about getting destroyed. But I'm going get to some, get some shots in here and see what I can do. Actually, it looks like we're doing pretty good with it. Just got to avoid the little, avoid the occasional ring there. There we go. Not too bad. And we got an ogre this wave. What else do we have? There's a roller coming down from below. So same thing. I'm going to throw an upgrade on this wall. And then let's actually upgrade these traps. Now, one of the cool things about explosive traps is that crazy crit damage. You get mad crit damage off these guys. And this, of course, is with a medallion with power transfer. So, uh... You know, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Crazy, crazy crit damage. Let's see what we can get it up to. 3.58 million. Holy smokes. What's tier 4? 5.91 million. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, I upgraded the one furthest out because that's going to be the one that's closest to the back end of that roller. Check this side. It should be good now that I've got uh, some upgrades on those auras. Let's check these cobalts here. Yeah, okay, the cobalts died without me shooting, so that's a good thing. Throw an upgrade on that bad boy. And basically, it's a uh, pretty much good game. We're just waiting for the roller. Now, uh, when the geodes come out, of course... Uh, we got the flame R's up front to burn those guys down. That way we don't have to worry about any reflects with the PDTs. 
I'm anxious to see what that explosive trap adds to that roller down there, so I'm going to kind of derp around and let it get all the way out to that wall. Come on now, assassin. Couple of heals there, and then let's let's check it out. Oh yeah. Now obviously it's not doing three million or five million hits or whatever to the back of it, but it's pretty close to directly under the back end. It's doing some nice damage to it for sure, but no reason for me not to give it a little assist. Taking all the shots here. Is that wall gonna survive? It's too close to tell. My pet will be up in a second, and I can just blaze through that last million. There we go. Alright, so Ogre this time. Ogre, Ogre. Ogres aren't too bad, just gotta stay away from that stomp, so we'll just get the wave rolling here. And let's get the upgrades flowing again. See what we got up here. Yeah, we can get these guys up to tier three. Very, very nice. Oh yeah, we're getting it done here. So two ogres, those guys are just going to get wrecked. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to get this lane uh, upgraded. And let these assassins die to these explosive traps. Oh yeah. Take that. <laughs> Very nice. And it's a good game for wave four. So we're down to the nitty gritty. What do we got? We got an ogre. We got one roller over here. Do we have any birds? Yeah, we got a zapper right here. So let's go ahead and get this lane really squared away. Actually, let's go all the way to tier 5 right there. Oh, yeah. Now, the zapper should not stand a chance. Yeah, just mutilated. And I did throw some shots on him as well. You know, no reason not to help out a little. Get back down here and burn these assassins. Now, you do have to be careful in this lane. As you see that, uh... I don't know if that's a javelin thrower or a hex thrower. It's one of the two, but they will stay directly inside the spawn and not take any damage. And throw javelins up to your walls. So you do want to be careful if you build too close right there on that section. getting it done here. Now, uh, the geodes are staying alive a little bit longer than I'd probably like, but the the PDT reflections are not too bad, so. Come on now. That assassin just did not want to die. And then we got a roller over on the far side. I'm going to ignore Matthias there. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Let me just kill him real quick. And let's see, uh, <laughs> the roller takes his little funny turn on this one. Let's just throw an upgrade on that wall as we're going. No explosion tra explosive traps over here to give me the assist, so... Just gonna have to do it the good old-fashioned way. Taking a few shots, but getting some hits in. Looks like I'm gonna die, potentially. I'm just gonna let him kill me, that way I can just eat up the rest of it. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll just burn him. Oop, spoke too soon. The second I get cocky, I get punched in the mouth. <laughs> but that blockade is doing quite the number on that roller, so we don't have to worry about it too much. You know, the PDT is getting some licks in, of course. There was explosive traps here, but none of them out for far enough to come near the, uh, the back side. And that will do it for another OG build. Legendary? Nope, it's a blue. But uh, thank you for watching. 
click that like button and please subscribe. Now let me know in the comments below if there's any particular builds that you want to see or just anything in game that you would like to have more information about. Now uh, if your question is how to progress from one chaos tier to the other, uh, there's a video about that called Know Your Enemy which is updated through Chaos 5. I need to do a new one for Chaos 6 and 7 but uh, building up for the next Chaos tier is all about knowing what you're going to fight and building for it. So uh, that will do it. We will see you soon.